so far when we've been creating procedures we've created them at the scene level and when you go to the scene you can see procedures that have crea been created in this particular example for the final we're going to add procedures to individual items. In this case my example is my scarecrow. I have created two procedures talk to me and scarecrow bounce. Let me demonstrate how I want the final project to work. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to create some sort of scavenger hunt where you have to find some hidden object. I have not completed this but I want you to have at least five characters for your character to interact with. I have, as in the past, set the character with a camera using her as a vehicle. So I can turn her using the arrow keys, I can move forward, I can move back, and the camera rides over her shoulder so that we can see what she sees. And you can see that I have set up a bunch of scenery here. And I would take her through the scenery looking for whatever object I'm going to find. In this case it would be a box of treasure. What I want to happen is each character that your character interacts with should trigger if she gets close to them. So in this case I have the scarecrow set to bounce up and down. That way I know and I'd have all of my characters working the same way. That way I know that I can interact with them. Then I have a key listener, I'm sorry, a mouse listener that will ask me, are you looking for treasure? And I'm going to make it very simple by using booleans. Hit OK. And he says, I hear the fish might know where it is. So I would go on and look for a pond. I can ignore his bouncing when I get further away because I've already talked to him. I would go for the pond which is over here by the oasis. I don't actually have a fish in there or programmed but they would guide my character from place to place getting hints so that I will eventually find the object that I'm looking for. So for your final project you will do some sort of scavenger hunt where you have a person or animal that is interactive by the keyboard using the arrow keys to direct it and you will have different characters in Alice interact with your character. They will in some way indicate that they are something you can talk to. When you click on them, they should talk to you and give you a hint about where you need to go. You can either have them ask questions or you can just simply have them say what they need to say. So what I've done is I've created a couple of scene level procedures. So under my procedures here, I have check click and check distance. Check click is checking to see if I've clicked on the scarecrow. I would have one for each character. and I only expect about five different characters for you to interact with. If the scarecrow is clicked on, we would get talk to me, which is a function that I wrote that makes him ask if you're looking for the treasure. We'd also have the check distance which is similar to what we've done in the past. We call check distance every time we hit a key and it will see if I am within the threshold of the scarecrow. And then I would check if within threshold of each of my other characters and I would call their procedure. Now you'll notice that the scarecrow has two procedures built in. Talk to me and scarecrow bounce. You can have them do other things if you want, but I want a minimum of five characters with two procedures each, and by going to each one of them, you should be able to solve the whole um, scavenger hunt and find whatever object it is at the end. And then that object should do something, play a sound, spin around, somehow say you've won so that you know that you've won the game.